Hi there, welcome back. This time in DaVinci Resolve 17. We will use the shape tools in the Fusion page to create a realistic color LED sign display panel. In the media pool, right click and choose new Fusion composition from the pop-up menu. Enter LED panel as the name. Leave other settings with default values. Double click the clip or right click and choose Open in Fusion page from the pop up menu. In the Fusion page, drag a background node from the toolbar and drop to the node editor. Connect the background to the Media Out node. Go to the Effects panel, open the Shape section, and drag the S Ellipse Shape node to the editor. While the Shape Ellipse node is selected, Click the Shape Render node in the Effects panel, which automatically adds a Shape Render node to the node editor and connects to the Ellipse node. Merge the Render node with the background and a white circle now appears in the viewer. Select the Ellipse node and go to the Inspector. Change both Width and Height to 0 0.002. We will make this shape into a small LED display unit. Switch to the Style tab and change the color to dark gray to represent a LED unit when it's off. Press F2 or right click and choose Rename from the menu, rename the node to LED off. To give the unit a bit more realistic 3D look, press Ctrl C or right click and select the copy command to make a copy of the LED off node. Click the empty area to clear the selection, press Ctrl V or right click and choose the paste command from the menu to paste a new S ellipse node into the node editor. Drag the output of the new node and merge with the previous one. A shape merge node is added automatically to the node tree. Select the new copied ellipse node Rename it to LED off highlight. Go to the Style tab in the Inspector, change the color to light gray, so it's a bit brighter than the previous one. Switch to the Controls tab, set the width and height to 0 0.001, so that it's smaller and looks like a light reflection on the dark unit. Move the highlight shape a bit off from the center to the top left, to simulate an external light source lighting up the LED unit from top left. From the effects library, drag a S grid node into the editor, inserted between the S merge and S render node. In the inspector, set grid cells X to 300 and cells Y to 50. Change X and Y offset to 0 0.005. Now we have a LED panel ready for illumination. Select all shape nodes, press Ctrl C to make a copy. Click an empty spot to clear the selection and press Ctrl V to paste a new set of shape nodes into the editor. Merge the new render node with the previous one. Rename the new pasted LED off nodes to LED on. Select LED on node, go to the Style tab in the Inspector. Change the color to yellow. In the Controls tab, change the size to 0 0.0025, so that it's a bit bigger than the off unit. Select the LED on Highlight node, change the color to white. Go to the Controls tab, change the size to 0 0.0015. Double click the X and Y offset parameter to reset their value to zero. Because the LED is now illuminated by the internal power. Select the render node of the illuminated LED panel, press shift space to open the select tool window, find and add the glow node. In the inspector, adjust the glow parameters so that the LED panel is fully lightened up. For this demo, I set the glow size to 1.6, glow to 0 0.95.
In the color scale section, we can change the scales of individual channels to achieve different light colors. In this demo, I want to make yellow lights, so I set the red to 1.5. Set the blue to 0. I think this looks good. Drag a text plus node from the toolbar and drop it to the editor. In the inspector, enter LED panel as the text. Connect the text output to the blue effect mask input of the S render node. Right away, the LED panel is lighting up only the units masked by the text title. The alpha channel of the text node is now used as a mask to control which parts of the LED panel are rendered for display. Increase the text size as needed. 0.28 seems the good size in this case. Go to the shading tab in the inspector, change softness X and Y to 1, so that the letter edge display is smoother. Now this is pretty good, but could be better and more convincing if we add some glowing effect around the letters. Select the glow node, press shift space to open the tool selection window. Find and add a soft glow node. Select the soft glow node and go to the inspector. Adjust the soft glowing parameters to get the best result you like. For this demo, I change the glow size to 30. Set the gain value to 0.6. Great, we now have the title shown in LED style. Next we will animate the title so that it scrolls from right to left. Make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the clip. Select the text node, go to the layout tab in the inspector, mark a keyframe for the center parameter. Move the text to right, so it's out of the screen. Go to the end of the clip. Change the center X until the text is off the screen from the left side. OK, now we've created a one-color LED panel with a simple scrolling text title. In the next video, I will demo how to add multicolors and how to display both text and image logos on the panel. All right, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.